Hi, you guys. My name is Chantrice. I am a 36-year-old woman that suffers from fibroids. I want to um, do a short documentary of um, fibroids for women my age. I um, have been doing a lot of research about it that is uh, real prevalent in the black community. For Why? I don't know. But I want to make sure that I... Um, take as much documentary as I could to share my story and to be able to help other women that could be suffering from fibroids. I've been having fibroids for years. Um, you know, even when I had my kids, I had the fibroids. So what was happening with me, the symptoms that I have experienced um, was heavy menstrual, um, some cramping sometimes is uncomfortable, but not heavy. But mainly was the uh, the heavy menstrual, and then sometimes I experienced some pain, and I noticed like in my stomach, certain areas have knots, and I do a lot of working out. And my stomach area, I wasn't losing weight as I, you know, expected to during my heavy workouts or my. Uh, I do a lot of cardio, so I wasn't losing weight. I was doing a lot of uh, ab workouts, and it just wasn't um, budging at all. So um, after suffering from the heavy bleeding, I decided to go see my OBGYN to find out exactly what was going on. They ran some tests. I had ultrasounds done. That's when they found out I had fibroids. Um, so with the fibroids, they, they gave me um, some birth control pills that helps control the bleeding the heavy bleeding so i've been on the birth control pills for over a year so that's been helping the bleeding but it doesn't help the fibroids to shrink and go down so of course i you know don't like to walk around with a um, bloated belly all the time so i asked what could i do so after that um went to see my OBGYN and she gave me some options i had an mri done another ultrasound done and they found out the fibroids was as big as a six month baby um so during that process the OBGYN she was recommend recommending me to do a hysterectomy of course, I first I agreed to do the hysterectomy. Um, a week to the surgery of the hysterectomy, I said no. I don't think I want to do a hysterectomy because I'm still young. I have three kids now. I'm not expecting to have any more kids, but I didn't want the doctor to tell me I couldn't have any more kids. I didn't want to put that in their hands. And I knew I had other options because I had been doing my research on fibroids. And so doing my research on fibroids, I came across a UFE. And it's called uter uter fibroid embolization. And what happens is that um, they can go through the veins, um, the artery, and they put in this medication, can't think of the name of it right now, but in my update after I have the procedure, which is less than 24 hours, I'll most definitely have the name of the medication that they inject through the vein, through the main artery that goes to the fibroids. And it's supposed to block off the blood supply to stop the fibroids from growing because the fibroids um, feed off blood. And that's what helps them to grow bigger, which is the blood. So, I'm going to have this procedure less than 24 hours, and I'll be back shortly after that. I'll uh, most definitely got, let you guys know the process and how it worked. So, the fibroids are supposed to shrink once they um, block off the fibroids, and they're supposed to die. Um, so far, from what I'm hearing um, from the um, radiologist that's going to do the procedure over at Piedmont, um, once I have the, the procedure, it's going to last an hour and 30 minutes. And after the procedure, um, I should experience heavy cramping, ugh, which I am so scared because I normally don't experience cramping when I'm going through my cycle. So it's kind of off and on. Um, but it's supposed to be heavy cramping, and they're going to give me medication for that. They're going to observe me for at least four hours. The good thing is, is it's an outpatient uh, procedure. So that is awesome. It's not much downtime. Um, they expected me to be out of work for about five days. 
but I should be up and, and going, you know, the next day. Um, but it depends on my body and my health, which I'm in pretty good health. I don't take any type of blood pressure medication or anything like that. And plus, I have never had a major surgery, so I didn't want to jump out there and do a hysterectomy and then have to take some type of hormones or something like that after having a hysterectomy. So I just want to um, just start off there, just letting you guys know a little bit about my process of the UFE and potentially help other women to um, save your ovaries, save your uterus, because I don't know, it's kind of scary to me, but I'm going to try this first and I pray and cross my fingers that it work and I'll be back with an update on tomorrow when, I, um, when I'm actually at the hospital from the hospital bed before I go under I'll go ahead and give you guys an update and after that after the procedure I'll come back again so thank you for watching and pray for me bye